told you we'd be back. We want to hear you enjoying yourself. You're in big trouble, mister. W3L. 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 What a week it's been here in W3L. Earlier this week on the W3L box office.com, top of the bill premiered, and we've seen Taylor Brown successfully defend the W3L World Heavyweight Championship against Mr. Tim Strange in a Calgary Bull Rope match. Now, following this brutal contest, Craig Stevens hit the ring and issued a challenge for the only championship that isn't in his possession and we can now confirm that at Carnage in the capital, Taylor Bryan will now defend against the original Craig Stevens. Will the prophecy come true and Craig Stevens hold all the belts in W3L or will Taylor Bryan retain his championship again? Also at Carnage in the Capital, we will see the W3L Women's Championship on the line as new champion Brody Adler in his first title defence against Nicole Yasmin. In a shocking turn of events also last week on Wrestling Showdown, after suffering yet more abuse from the blood tourist looking sharp, Stevie Wizard finally snapped and bewildered and no doubt seething sharp issued the challenge for a tag team match at Carnage in the Capital. Wizard has accepted, but the question remains, who will each man's partner be? Perhaps we'll find out this week on W3L Wrestling Showdown. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another edition of WTL Wrestling Showdown. This week, as you heard at the opener, the big question is, who will Luke King Sharp and Stevie Wizard pick to be their partners at Carnage in the capital, Edinburgh, April 13th? Now, let's not forget, there is another man that is looking for a partner, but not before he challenges Taylor Brighton for the WTL World Heavyweight Championship at Carnage in the capital. I am, of course, talking about the original Craig Stevens, the man with all the belts. <sighs> Mr. Stevens, Mr. Stevens, hey, it's me, it's Simon. Si Simon G, money. Now, listen. I know who you are. Yeah, Craig, listen, I, I know we're, we're good pals, right? I know last week didn't quite go as planned. I know it was a bit weird, but don't worry, because I think, personally, I've done enough to prove to you that I could be the best partner that you would ever have in your entire life and that I should be wearing one of those belts around this lovely shiny money waist right here. What do you say, Mr. Stevens? The OG, the original. Come on. What do you say? Right. I am the original, but I'll tell you something. You are the man with all the money. Yes. But I'm the man with all the belts. And look, I'm looking for someone that's, that's going to hold these belts, not lose them. I want to keep all these belts. So it looks like you're not going to be my partner. You're not my choice. I've got a lot of other people chucking me CVs, uh, asking me to be their potential partner. So uh, there's a lot of people in the run. You might be someone that could polish my belts, but you ain't got someone that could defend my belts. So I'm taking it as a no, Mr. Money. I, I can throw money, not see. Look, I'm a bit busy polishing my belts, so. All right. Uh, th thank you for your time, Mr. Mr. Right, Stevens. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Mr. Sharp. 
My man, my buddy, my pal. Now, I heard... I actually have no idea who you are, boy. Uh, don't worry about that. Listen, you'll know who I am soon enough because I'm the man who is uh, <clears throat> not going to be very holy, but he's definitely going to help you beat up that little punk wizard. Shut your mouth, boy! All right. All right. Dalek for a second. Well, I need somebody to help me battle Stevie Wizard. Tell you something, actually I went to school with Stevie Wizard. Yeah. He used to stick his head down the toilet, stuff him in the locker, and he'd been Joe for days. <laughs> he used to bang him up. That's funny. Uh, Tell him I need help! Be some loser! And I die! Well, no, admittedly you don't look like you need help. But! I might want it. I might want it because I hate Stevie Wizard so much hey, hey. that I don't have enough hands to power up! Well, I can lend you two. Then that'll have to do. Well, then I think that me and you, this is the beginning of a lucrative relationship. Come here, Mr. Sharp. Ow, that stabbed me a little. But don't worry, I'm not going to charge you for the medical bills. It's okay. I'll see you soon. Bye bye. Yes! This buckling contest is a singles match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first to the ring. It's all about that old Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to once again another edition of W3L Wrestling Showdown. A lot has happened and a lot to unpack in this broadcast. It's been a while, Worldwide Wrestling League. It's been a while. It certainly has. I haven't seen Luke Aldridge since Resolution. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, as we now know, We do know at the carnage at the Capitol, April 13th, Southside Community Centre, Stevie Wizard, Luke King Shab are going to lock horns, but they're going to have partners. Now we know that Shab's partner is now formerly known as Leon Brown MC, Simon G Money. But just who? Will Stevie Wizard's partner B. Well, we're going to hear from Stevie Wizard at the conclusion of this match, so perhaps we'll find out. As, well. Here go. Gregor on a winning streak himself, in fact, last week, defeating Simon G Money. As you heard at the top of the programme, Simon G Money was looked to be a potential tag partner to Craig Stevens. Craig Stevens not happy that Simon G Money lost. And now Simon G Money wormed his way in to be Sharp's tag team partner, probably thinks Hey, premium live event, capital at the carnage at the capital. W3L. I can, name, I can make a name for myself here. And then in the coming weeks, ladies and gentlemen, we will be telling you what to expect. The carnage at the capital. We also know that Nicole Yasmin will be the first to challenge. Dynamite Brody Adler for the WTL Women's Championship. That was announced last week when Nicole Yasmin stepped up. And we also know if you tuned in to Top of the Bill this past Tuesday, you'll also know 
at the original Craig Stevens who has pretty much all the belts well no challenge for the one that he doesn't have the W3L heavyweight championship which is in the possession of tier 0 Taylor Bryden and that is also Craig Stevens' hometown Carnage at the Capitol shaping up to be probably one of the best premium live events this year thus far as we get this match started. Colorable tie up. Aldridge all the way at the corner. Oh. Aldridge saying he's got till five. And now got all the WPL soldiers. All over Aldridge. <laughs> Take nothing away from Aldridge, an absolute amazing athlete. Ticks all the boxes. Oh, rebel type again, as does Krieger. And as I said, Krieger is on a winning streak, a hot winning streak, and there's a headbutt. Krieger on a huge hot winning streak. Aldridge, however, on a losing streak. You know the ticks all the boxes, but the confidence must be an all-time low. Pressure to get this win. With the third colour will tie up. And this time Aldridge again. No! Krieger reverses it. Threaten to give him an apple sandwich. says he's not a chicken. And now, he's going to prove that by doing a test of strength or at least initiating a test of strength. Gregor's going to oblige him. Oh, Aldridge. Aldridge sucker, Krieger in, headlock. Oh, look at this. Held on to the hair of Krieger. Referee seen it. Krieger again. Gets him off this time. Shoulder block. Krieger goes down. Aldridge off the ropes. Five passes. Hip toss by Krieger. Krieger now is going too well. What he says, punch Aldridge in the face. We're going to get the 10. As Krieger's going to wind up. And Aldridge had that scouted. Rolls out the ring. in the ring but slides back out breaking the referee's 10 count Aldridge challenging Craig to come and get him 
I guess the philosophy here is, well, a year of checker might not come and get me, but look at this. Aldridge. Aldridge now rubbing in the face that he's in the ring. He has the higher ground. Aldridge tried. Look, Tiger is just coming in. Didn't. Tiger now. Winding that up, and there it is. fighting back once again ladies and gentlemen up oh, look in the eyes as I said Aldridge takes all the boxes and knows all the shortcuts he has studied the greats in our industry look at this nice vice grip Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been told we will hear from Stevie Wizard. After this contest, we're going to throw it. Stevie Wizard's got something to say. Well, I've been told. So stay tuned to hear from Wizard. This Craigan went hard into that corner. And Aldridge now stalking, lying in wait. As Krieger struggles to get these feet. Here comes Aldridge. Rolls back, comes in for another avalanche. Gets it. Rolls back. Third time's the charm. No! Went to the well one too many times. And now Aldridge. Craig are blocking everything Aldridge is throwing. Off the ropes. Boot. Aldridge eating some shoe leather. And now, Benny Cook wants Craig to finish Aldridge. Craig are now second rope. Look at that beautiful reverse elbow into the cover. Gets it too. Let's look at that again. Thanks to the crafty connoisseur double feature. Look at it is. Look at that elevation. And got two. Back to live action. Gregor warming up the band. Very familiar. No, Aldridge caught the foot. Look at that discus elbow. Here comes Aldridge. Close line. Gets two. Aldridge signaling for the end. Benicook all over Aldridge, but here it comes. Could be the DD6. No! Super kick! Hooks the leg! And he got him! Let's get the official word. Yeah. 
Well, ladies and gentlemen, just before we threw it to Wizard, let's take a look at a replay. Here you see Alders going for that DD6. Craigan manages to get out of it and hits a super kick. And it's another loss on Aldridge's bedpost. Coming. Well, the ascension is coming. Don't know what that means, but anyway, in event, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for joining me this week once again. We'll see you next week for more showdown action. Team Showdown Time, Showdown Channel. Let's do it, Stevie Wizard. Looking sharp. For over a year, you've done nothing but give me grief at every single WCL show. And I really don't know what your problem is. What have I ever done to you? You've nearly choked me unconscious with my tie. You've pushed me, you've bullied me. But as we saw, enough is enough. And so you thought you'd call my bluff and challenge me to a tag team match in Edinburgh. And you thought I wouldn't find a tag partner. You thought I'd be all on my own against you and whoever it is you're going to pick. <laughs> How wrong you are. Because you see, looking sharp, I got a notification from none other than Nathan Reynolds. Offering to come out of retirement just to team with me to face you. I got contacted by your former tag team partner, Donny T, who's apparently really annoyed the fact you abandoned him all those years ago, and he said he'd be my tag team partner. I even got an email from Power Vic offering to buy himself a brand new pair of Ugg boots and come back to the UK to help me kick your ass. But you know what, looking sharp, I found me a partner. It's somebody you know well, and it's the first person who came up to me when I got backstage. It's the first person who offered the services to be my tag team partner in Edinburgh. And the person I'm going to be teaming with is this guy. Sharp, you're in big trouble, mister. 